hello friends and i welcome you all at circuits bazaar and today in this video we are going to learn how we can prepare thousands of circuit in just one hour so this is the dip soldering machine this is a very small dip soldering machine you can buy it in around 8000 rupees and this is the solder rod so it is made up of various material which i'm going to discuss later so you just need to uh, put this solder rod in the molten uh, solder so this machine is getting 230 volt so you have to apply 230 volt to this machine then these are some of the pcbs uh, I have mounted component already on these PCBs and uh, on below of this PCB you have to apply the flux so the liquid flux or uh, the solid flux if you can see then uh, like solid flux is applied on the PCBs right so through this brush you can apply solid flux so this is very cheap solid flux is very very cheap uh, it will cost you only 10 rupees so you need to apply on all the PCBs the solid flux so that the joints will be clear so this is the liquid flux you can also use the liquid flux as well so you need to spray the liquid flux or uh, you can just uh, dip the PCB in the liquid flux and then just put the uh, put the PCB in the molten uh, this solder molten solder so these are some of the pcbs i have already prepared so you can see the clarity of the joints of these pcb the joints is very very clear because i have applied the flux and if you don't apply the flux then jo uh, then joints is not going to be clear because the solder is not going to stick on the joints properly so soldering flux is very very important the solder rod we don't need right now because uh, the port is full and this molten solder always have a like filth on the top layer so you have to remove it before uh, immersing the pcb in the molten uh, solder so you can use a waste pcb or some other material right which can tolerate the high temp now let me show you how you can solder the pcb so always make a three to five degree angle while you are immersing the pcb and then when you are taking out the pcb always make a four five degree angle right four to five degree angle so that extra solder will run away from the uh, bottom of the pcb right and you can see that on the top of the this uh, molten solder there is a, a layer this is the waste layer so you have to remove that waste layer time to time so now you can see that i am making a particular angle right when i am immersing the pcb and you can see the clarity of the pcb it's very very clear so you need to repeat the process after every three to four seconds so in this way uh, you can prepare thousands of circuits in one hour right now you can see that just see the uh, angle it is very important to make a particular angle while you are immersing the pcb and when you are taking out the pcb from the molten solder it is very very important and don't put the pcb for a longer time because uh, th there are some delicate component like led and all they will burn out if you will uh, put the pcb for a longer period of time and the finishness of the joints is very good over here just because we have applied proper amount of flux you can use liquid or solid flux as i already told you so this is the simple process of dip soldering machine so through this you can prepare any quantity of circuits in in a day right uh, if you will solder uh, one circuit at a time through soldering iron then it is going to consume a lot of time but through this process you can solder loads of circuit in a day the soldering machine is also very cheap like this soldering machine i have bought in 8000 rupees but some more economical dip soldering machine is also available on amazon so you can buy from there i'm going to give you the link in the description below before proceeding further let me also tell you i have written a complete in-depth blog post on this dip soldering machine so you can go through that the link is given in the description below let me show you the post so this is our website circuitsbazaar.com um, to find the post you just need to go to how to section then machine and tools or you can just directly search over here just write down just search it so this is the post how to use dip soldering machine you just need to click on this by the way the link also i have given in the description of this video you can also find the link over there direct direct link of the post so uh, in this post uh, this is table of content then what is dip soldering machine then all the required component to perform the activity of dip soldering then video demonstrations like this is uh, this uh, you will find by today evening you will get the video link over here then process of dip soldering like what is the actual process of dip soldering and i have also written over here all the types of uh, uh, solder rod right like lead silver tin lead then tin and zinc uh, for aluminium so i everything i have explained over here you just need to study this you will get all the overview about this dip soldering machine then there are some precautions you need to uh, take some precautions before a uh, starting dip soldering machine right then all the applications of uh, this dip soldering machine then there, there are some uh, visual photo uh, i have taken uh, during the process of dip soldering the molten solder filth you have to remove uh, time and again 
because it's natural when you are going to dip the pcb in this uh, molten solder then uh, this filth will be accumulated uh, just after two or three pcb so you just remove to this uh, like filth time and again and after removing you can see that the clarity of the molten solder it's very very clear and it's going to provide you very very smooth joint on your pcb right and just after one pcb you can see that just after immersing one pcb you will see a, a, a little a layer of filth you can see that this layer of filth you need to remove time and again to provide the clear crystal clear joint to your pcb if you don't remove it then after some time you will feel or you will see the joints of your pcb is not clear they are having some random solder over there so just remove it time and again uh, and also make sure your temperature don't go above uh, like 350 degrees celsius you can you, you should keep your temperature uh, between like uh, 200 to uh, like 250 or 280 degrees celsius and you can control the temperature through this big size potentiometer so this is all about this deep soldering machine thank you so much for watching the video